I, I do know that your city manager was not pleased that we were all coming here. I, I do wish that he...
because they are not participating this evening. And I know that, that many of you are disappointed by that, but it is important that this information still be shared with you. And that's why I am here to share this information with you and do my best in order to present it. So, as we go through, um, let's see, there are 80 parts per billion, not parts per million, but 80 parts per billion. And you have it in, in four quarters, and I'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, it triggers us having to do something because of the new regulations regarding this. The chloramines that are being used, the city has said that those are stable and persistent, that they are able to have a longer life, if you so to speak. So I liken it to maybe an Aleve versus an ibuprofen. So it's probably not the best analogy, but you need to take ibuprofen more often. A leave is supposed to last you 12 hours. So the life of the chloramines is longer than the life of the chlorine. You've already been told about how long this goes back, how many years it goes back, and who's all using it. So I don't need to repeat that. So this is strictly regulated. We have the EPA that sets the standard. We have the Center for Disease Control and Prevention that also provides us with what we need to be doing that as well as um, public health and of course um, uh, our water, um, water board. So as you go through there, the city of Stockton uses anywhere from one to four milligrams per liter. Now the CDC allows you to use up to 50 milligrams. We're not anywhere near that. Uh, number um, and the main purpose of this is to prevent those waterborne pathogens any of those diseases any of those viruses bacteria from coming to you and you then ingesting them so uh, that's not something I would uh, necessarily want to take part in in that um, I take my kids and I'm just I'm going off on a sidebar here I take my kids backpacking and I say my kids I mean my students are any of my students out here I see any of you? Oh, I see some over there. There's a few of them here. Um, I take them backpacking to Yosemite. And this past year, in September, we actually went up to Clouds Rest. And Clouds Rest is 9,960 feet above elevation. And when you get above a certain elevation, actually the UV radiation is supposed to provide enough of a um, disinfection for the water to be safe to drink. We still disinfect our water. We either put iodine drops in it or we put bleach drops into our water. We just put three into the liter. We then wait 30 minutes before we, we drink it. And we do that just to be on the safe side, okay? Because you wouldn't want to be out in the back somewhere for a week and get something, a bug in you. That would not be good. Um, this here is the timeline. So I know that, that there's been discussion about, you know, where did this come from? How did we arrive here? Did you guys vote on it just last week and now we have it in our water? Um, that wasn't the case. As I said, I, I wasn't on council at the time, um, but the, it has been a, a relatively Brookside Road. It kind of splits the city right there. The area below that then is, is um, Cal Water, the area in yellow. So we have uh, three different uh, water suppliers here in Stockton. And for the northern area, right now, their water is being provided by the Delta Water Supply Project. So the different elements to this. So one of the reasons why we had to move to the Delta Water Supply Project was because we had to be able to prove and show that we were able to adequately, here in the city, supply water to all the residents of Stockton. Now, as you know, Stockton started in the downtown area and has progressively moved in an outward fashion. The newest homes that we have are in the northern area of Stockton, at least the largest amount of new homes that we have. The Delta Water Supply Project provides water to those homes. It was authorized in 2007, and in 2007, just in full disclosure, I was on the planning commission for the city of Stockton, and we were discussing our, well, actually, we voted on the uh, general plan, the, the 2035 general plan. And I'll tell you, I voted no on that general plan because of my concerns with being able to provide for our citizens in this town at the rate that we were growing. Little did we know that the ground would fall out from under us and that we would be going into the next great 
uh, recession, so to speak, um, being the number one foreclosed uh, uh, city, homes in, the, in Stockton here. So as we go through here, the project was completed in May and it was, it was uh, uh, fully completed with all systems go, as you can tell by the slide. And I'm sure that I feel really good about it. So that was just one person, one of my students' uh, comments. There will always be, this is another student, there will always be a pro and a con on any opinion. Chloramines are both good and bad. And that's where I'm at today, with you, having this discussion, because I represent you. I am up here as a bridge between you and the city. And I love the fact that you all showed up tonight and you are going to tell myself, the mayor, and anybody else out there how you feel about your water. And that it's important to you, so it's important to me. So thank you so much. Well, she's bringing up my presentation. House was built in 1937. I have seen my pipes. They are awful. Um, and I've thought about replacing them. And then I saw the cost and I said, eh, I'm okay right now. Um, but I just want you to know that I want to assure you that there are not lead pipes in this. We have um, uh, copper. We have uh, PVC. There are other types of pipes, but not.